So tell us a bit about yourself. Okay. I'm Megan. I'm 30 years old. <laughs> um, I have two boys. So one is five and one is two. So I'm having a ton of fun juggling that right now. They're at those wild boy ages. And I work full-time in the pharmacy. Um, they have promoted me to the lead technician. So I take care of literally everything in the pharmacy. A little stressful sometimes, but come home and I'm a mom and I work. <laughs> um, sorry, I have a little one here who snuck out. <laughs> what are you doing right now? I'm sorry? What are your babies doing right now? Um, one of them, the older one is playing Minecraft, and the other one I put dad on duty, so he's actually coloring with markers, so I'm really excited because he gets to watch him up after. It's okay, she's fine, she's being quiet. And um, if he comes in here and he yells, I guess he'll join us, we'll see. We'll see how long he can <laughs> yeah. occupy it. <laughs> Um, we'll see how this, how long this one stays quiet. <laughs> um, all right, so how did you feel about your skin before you tried SB? And how did you feel about the products you were using at the time? Oh, this brings back like so many like bad flashbacks from when I was younger. Um, I, well, I think I was in sixth or eighth grade before I started noticing I had really bad acne. And that's when, you know, puberty and it really took off and it was just awful. And that's when I started noticing, you know, you get to that, you get at that age and I'm like, hey, I didn't start shaving my legs till I was in like eighth grade. And you start noticing and like, oh, everyone's doing this. And I'm like, why, why does no one, why doesn't anyone have bad skin like me? So I was self-confident yeah. for a long, long time and... I, you know, I wasn't ever outgoing, and I think that had a lot to do with it, because I didn't, I didn't feel like I fit in with anyone, and people would, people would ask me, oh, you know, is, is that a rash, or, oh, do you, do you wash your face every day, and kids, kids are not very nice at that age, no. No. <laughs> so it was, it was really difficult, and it, it kind of evened out as I moved into high school, but it was never, I never had good skin. And I, I started out just using regular, you know, soap and trying different things. Um, and I never got any results. And I didn't really want to invest in anything that wasn't trying me anything. So I jumped around to all the, all the cheapest stuff I could or whatever my mom, mom was using or we had at the time or, but it was, uh, it was hard for me. <laughs> I can imagine. Like, I struggle with acne now, as you can see. <laughs> I'm having a really bad hormonal breakout. Um, but it is even tougher as a kid because people are, I mean, the kids are so mean. And it's like they don't understand how acne works. No matter how much you try to take care of your skin, it's, that's not always a problem. It got, it definitely got harder in high school when people started, you know, they start asking, oh, well, have you tried eating better? Have you tried, you know, washing every day and every morning? Like, you know, they just, what about this? What about this? And it's like, it was, no matter what I did, it was all, like, I've got some, I realize my stuff now is stress. So I've got here, 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 here. <laughs> but it's, yeah. it's hard. And they're, they're mean at that age. Like, kids are. Kids are not nice. <laughs> and so the products that you were using then, um, like how often did you switch them up because of, you know, lack of results? Was it like, did you even finish a product before jumping to the next one or? I don't think so. And a lot of it, you know, when I was younger was just simple, like very, very basic, like store brand stuff that my mom yeah. would have or she would have on hand and we would all kind of use it, which now to me is kind of crazy because we have like opposite skin and I'm like, why were we using the same thing? 
Um, but a, a couple years ago, like maybe three years ago, I started moving toward like a more natural based skincare brand. And it wasn't, it wasn't hurting, but it wasn't helping. It was just like kind of make, making things stable. And right now I literally have a shelf in my closet just stashed with all that stuff. And I'm like, no, I can't even look at it. I can't even, so I'm trying to think, hmm, let's see, could I use this as maybe like a foot scrub or maybe some hand soap trying to like, well, I don't want to waste it, but I mean, it's never going to go on my face again. <laughs> yeah, use it as a body moisturizer, body <laughs> scrub. Yeah, just use it all. But it, I went through that period too. I think it was last year where I just threw away all of my stuff. I actually made a video about it and I just heard <laughs> everything and all of a sudden I had all of this drawer space and um of course I just filled it right back up again with sabbatical beauty stuff <laughs> but um it, it was a slow process I've been with SB for a couple of years now so um eventually eventually I think that's going to be all I have face and body but right now I'm still I'm still in the process of completely converting <laughs> Um, how did you discover sabbatical beauty? My mom actually showed me, and it's a really funny story. Um, she, lit, now after she moved, she lives kind of far away now. Like it takes us 45 minutes to get there. And um, sometimes I'll stay over and we'll stay a couple days because the kids are like, we want to stay at grandma's. So I'll just stay a weekend over there. And I went over there and she brought out this little like old school platter tray looking thing with the handles that you would find in like old movies she brought it out and it had all these little sabbatical beauty samples on it and I'm like well that looks fancy I'm like what's this and she's like oh well it's this new brand I've been trying and I've been having great results and she, I'm like let me smell them so I'm opening them and smelling them and like feeling the textures and everything and I'm like hmm okay okay and she's like She's just, like, in love with it. She's like, oh, it's helped my skin so much. I'm like, look how cute they look, though, on this little tray. So I'm like, okay, I gotta look into this. So she's like, I'm okay. I have too, actually, so I can relate. <laughs> um, <laughs> is your mom in group? Do we know her? Yeah, uh, it's Ann McIntyre. She, she comments oh. on stuff here and there. That's my mom. <laughs> I asked her to interview with us, too. <laughs> That's she's awesome. Um, I just knew that. I didn't make the connection. She's, um, we, when we were there, like, a couple weeks ago for our, the baby's birthday, she's like, well, I got the summer box and detox, so we had a detox party. I'm like, yes, and we were all, like, we're all doing detox at the same time, and I'm like, okay, or if, um, she'll get something, or she'll ask me, okay, have you tried this or this, and I'll be like, yeah, and it's so funny because we have completely opposite skin. So she'll be like, oh, well, this isn't working for me. Do you want to try it? And then I'll try it. I'll be like, oh, yeah, this is working. And I'll be like, well, I don't know about this. So it's funny because I'll be like, if we get something, the other one might want to try. Or it's kind of like a bonus because I got to try maple before I got my maple and then I got my own. But it's uh, like when she... you keep everybody orders something different. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We're notorious for that. Okay, everyone, oh, what are you ordering? What are you ordering? Okay, I'm going to have some of this. Um, but she, she introduced me, and then she's like, oh, there's a group for it. And then after I was in group for a while, then I'm like, okay. And then I placed my order, and now I've placed too many orders. My last order came today, and it was supposed to come when I was on vacation. Mm -hmm. But my boyfriend was here when it came. And he oh. goes... Another blue box. <laughs> yeah, another blue box. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Okay, no, I, um, I make orders before the last order I made had even shipped. So, like, before I even <laughs> get my last order to my doorstep, I'm already making another order. That's how bad it is. <laughs> I forgot what I ordered. I'm op I'll open it by the time, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is what I need for next time. And I'll go look at my cabinet, and I'm like, okay, got to restock, and I'm already ready to do another one. And I'm yeah. like, oh. I okay. am like, okay, so you know how some people have FOMO, like fear of missing out, right? I have fear <laughs> of running out. I have serious fear of running out. <laughs> I ran out 
of beauty water and goat milk one day and I'm like, oh, and my order was supposed to come the day after I ran out and I'm just like, we got to make it home before the office closes. They're going to deliver it to the office at the complex. And if they, if, if I don't get home in time, oh my God, I'm going to be without it for a day. And I was like, we got to, we got to get home. We got to get home. <laughs> it's serious. It really is serious. And I'm going on vacation next week, and I had to tell them all, okay, you have to ship my stuff to this address for the next two weeks. So it's not, I couldn't wait two weeks to place an order. No, they have to ship it to where I'm going on vacation because it couldn't wait. <laughs> no, I'm like, I can't, I can't run out. And I have, like, I have some really bad breakups because I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to go back to the old brand I was using. I'm going to run, I'm going to try the coconut cleansing balm that they make and still do my goat milk cleanser. And then I have such breakouts and I'm like, okay, throw it. And then I was sitting there like, now I can't, I can't use this one, but now I'm going to have to wait for my order. <sighs> so I was like, man, what am I going to do? So now I have to make sure I have to check. I have four shelves in the medicine cabinet and that is all sabbatical beauty. There's nothing else in the medicine cabinet. So I'm like, I can relate. every time I make an order. I'm on my phone taking pictures. Okay, how how little do I have left of this? Is this going to last me until my next order? Uh. Definitely <laughs> have the fear of running out. We're going to make that a hashtag in group. <gasps> fear of running out, yes. <laughs> um, and so you found sabbatical beauty through your mom. You got to try. So, so your story is actually a little different than most of the people I've interviewed because they've all discovered SB through Facebook ads. Really? Um, yeah, so you're the first person to actually have it handed to you and to be able to try it before you made your first that, order. That was a huge, like, I, I feel like I'm kind of spoiled in a way because I was like, oh, and my sister is actually, um, like, she'll come over and be like, do you have some sake kaso I need to borrow for spot treatment? So I think she's going she's gonna, she's gonna to turn eventually. Or at least yeah. I'll get her a nice, nice Christmas present. <laughs> uh, so what results did you hope to see with SB and did you achieve those results? Um, I, I really had just like small goals to just reduce the number of breakouts. I wasn't planning on having them gone completely or like some miracle thing. I was trying to be super realistic. Um, and it's, and that's how I learned my breakouts are stress, which is so strange to me. I never thought that was a thing until I, you know, I come back to work and yesterday, Friday the 13th, I swear to you, people were crazy. And <sighs> I'm just like trying to like prevention ahead of time. Like, okay, got to do the tea tree water, trying to like prevent anything. Cause I'm like, oh, cause I had like three people try to get me fired. And I'm like, okay, cool. And that's how I learned everything is stress related. And I'm like, that's interesting to me. Cause I just thought, I just thought I had bad skin, but I really, I don't. Um, no. no matter how much you prepare, yeah, sometimes you can't um, prevent the hormonal breakouts. It's just inevitable. Your skin has to purge in some way. But yeah. at the same time, I think of it as like, you're releasing all of that stress as well. It just happens to show up on the one place you don't want it to, but you're, you're releasing all that stress. And um, once it's gone, it's gone. And then you can start over again and you feel cleansed and it's a brand new yeah. day. And it was, it was a huge, huge bonus that I wasn't expecting. My skin used to be so dry, it would literally flake. Like, I would just oh. have flakes of dry skin, and it, no matter what I put all over it, like, I could, I could take, like, a cup full of co straight coconut oil, slather on my face, it would absorb it, and my skin would still be dry. Like, I had ridiculously dry now? skin. What's your skin type now? Um, I would say dry to normal. It's actually kind of combo now. Um, I never used to, like, I would just have the worst on my forehead. My cheeks were never that bad, but it was, it was forehead, chin, and, like, nose, which is really strange. And I don't have dry skin anymore. Like, I can go like this, and I, I'm, not, I'm not losing layers of skin, which is weird. 
And I was like, okay, that's really cool. Like, I don't have dry, dry, dry skin anymore. Like that, I wasn't expecting that. That wasn't a goal. But I'm like, wow, this is really cool. And I used to have redness everywhere. Like, I would be like a tomato, just red. And people would be like, do you have, they would ask me, like, oh, do you have like a rash or anything? I'm like, no, I just have the most red skin ever. And it's calmed down so much. Like, it's mo- it's pretty much just my chin now that's red. Yeah. And I don't see any redness on you. And it's, it's just, like, a little bit on my chin, like, kind of a weird circle. But other than that, it's just, it's, those were unexpected. I was mainly just trying to get a handle on my skin and get it to calm down or yeah. chill, chill for a moment. But all those, all those added bonuses that I didn't expect, that was awesome. <laughs> well, your skin looks amazing now. It really does. I like all those posts that you um, put up in group. Um Especially the ones with your babies in it with you and you're doing your regimen. I think those are so cute. I love those. <laughs> Keep doing those. <laughs> I noticed I've been doing it. I noticed I've been doing what, an update of, like every month without meaning to. And I'm like going back and I'm like, wow, I've done one every month without meaning to since I started it in March. But he likes to be my helper and he likes to come in and he'll grab cotton balls and he'll do pat, 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 he'll pat. So he's, he's my helper. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> teach him while, while he's young and, um, like, all the dudes, all his dude friends are going to be envious of his skin when he gets older. <laughs> he's going to have the best skin and they're going to be like, man, what do you use? And he'll be like, my mom introduced me to sabbatical beauty. <laughs> <laughs> and that exact voice. <laughs> and that exact voice. <laughs> um... Okay, so now that you have integrated sabbatical beauty into your regimen, um, how do you feel about your skin? Like, of all the changes, how do you feel about it? I'm, I'm so much happier with it. I really am. And I used to be, like, one of those people, okay, I'm going to put on my liquid foundation. I'm going to put on my highlighter. I'm going to do my, like, everything, full face makeup. And now, like, I got... You know, if everyone talks about my eyebrows, it's because I'm just like, thank you, I got them at Target. So I got my eyebrow tint, and then I got my mascara, and that's it right now. And it's crazy to me that I can go to work, and sometimes I'll do, like, a little powder foundation, or even just, like, a translucent one. Sometimes I'll do that, um, and that's all. And it's crazy that I can go to work and feel like I'm still put together and professional without any makeup. And I feel like... It's, I feel like it's more me, like I'm not high, like I love makeup, it's, it's oh, fun, it's a hobby, but I feel like it's more fun now and that I'm not hiding behind it. Yeah. We're using it to cover, cover up flaws. I agree. And even now, um, like two years ago, I would have had to spend at least five minutes covering all of this up before I went live on the internet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but now it's like, like the rest of my skin is so healthy i i know that this doesn't matter and plus i'm trying to normalize it anyway so i'm, I'm also making a statement with it. like it's okay people break out every now and then acne power <laughs> <laughs> um and okay so how do you feel about our community when you first joined um what was it like for you and um how have you contributed to the community and what has the community contributed to you? I love the community. When I first joined, I felt like I was so shy. Like I was just sitting there and watching and just trying to like get a feel for everything. Um, like I was a little shy, intimidated to participate. So like for anyone who's new to the group, don't do that. Just participate. Everyone is so supportive. And the thing that gets me is everyone is like genuinely loving and accepting like they're not just saying oh you're beautiful just to say it or to make you feel better like they people it's like you'll put like you know you post your selfies like I like every month and these people are like oh I've noticed that your skin is gen like generally looking healthier or they'll they'll give their feedback and that's a big thing to me is that people are they're genuinely noticing I like to think I contribute to some laughs with my with my gifts I like to post (laughs) um 
<laughs> and contribute some contribute some baby helping me pictures. Um, and I I see a lot of posts for you know people asking advice, and I I don't think there's a big um like a big um or at least I don't see too many people ask about that that really dry skin like that dry mm -hmm. sensitive acne prone and it's a weird combination to think dry and acne prone because a lot of people associate like overly oil production and then the acne and everything so if I see someone with like a more common skin type to me I'll try to give them as much feedback like from stuff I've tried because I, I feel like that's a it's just a weird combination of skin <laughs> it is, but you know what? Adeline actually has dry skin, and the, found, the foundation of this entire line was based on her dry skin, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, so most of the, like, original products were met, uh, were suited for her skin type, actually. And I don't know if you've ever, have you tried Hydra Serum yet? I just ordered my second. <laughs> it's not the fear of running out. I've got a little left in my first bottle, and then I've got my new bottle that just came in. That one is my favorite for nighttime. I love it. I use it at night, too, because I, I have more normal to oily skin, but at night, especially with the AC or the heater on, it gets so dry in my house um, that I need that extra moisture. And Hydra is wonderful because it hydrates and it helps with acne. So yeah, it's it's amazing. Yeah. Um, where'd you go? Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. But yeah. So um, I mean, here lately, Adeline's been creating more things for oilier skin types. She's coming out with the acids, and um, so that's been amazing for us. For um, for the Singaporeans too, who are always in hot and humid um, weather, and for the oilier skin types like myself. Um, but yeah, most of the products are good for the drier skin types. So you actually found the perfect brand for you. <laughs> um, okay, important question of the day. If you were an SB product, which one would you be and why? I would be the strawberry toner because I'm super duper sweet on the outside. But I'm super strong and fierce on the inside, and I work hard. And you have red hair. <laughs> and I have red hair. I got my first sample of the strawberry today, and I'm just like, okay, kids, go to sleep. Because after they go to sleep, that's my me time to do my nighttime routine. So I'm like, what, what's the earliest I could put them to sleep? i got to try it. <laughs> and Did I you wait the 20 minutes or not? I, I wasn't going to buy it until I went to my mom's and I literally made her open it so I could sniff it. And then I sniffed it and that's why I decided, okay, I need it. It smells delicious. But when you applied it, did you wait 20 minutes before putting your next product on or did you just go immediately into your next product? I waited the 20 minutes. Um... Just because I, if I get anything new, even if it's something, like, I have super sensitive skin. So I always have to spot test it first. So that was a good opportunity to spot test it that I was over there for some weekend, for a few days. And then I'm like, okay. And I'm like, okay. So I waited it to see the reaction. It's, it's funny to me, though, because the beauty water, when I first started using it, I was like, oh. Like, you know, you get that initial, if you're not used to it, like, oh. Yeah. Okay, um, but then it turned into one of those, hey, this, this kind of hurts, but it hurts good. It hurts really good. <laughs> so, so I don't get that anymore with the beauty water because I'm used to it. Yeah. So, so I'm like, okay, time to up it up. And then I got the, the, um, hi. Oh, we are going to have a guest appearance. Yay. Hey. Say hi. Hi. Hi, cutie. Oh, hi. I saw a little smirk there. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how he uh, behaves for now. 
<laughs> he woke up from his nap, so he's going to be a little, little grump grump. That's right. We all get a little grumpy sometimes when we just wake up. Oh, I see a little smile. All right. Oh, yeah? A warm up. First. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for taking time out of your Saturday. Um, this was fun. And I'm glad that you also applied to be a fall box reviewer because I love watching your videos. So um, for all of you guys watching, the um, you have a few more days to apply for the fall box to be a reviewer. So keep that in mind. We really want you guys to try it out because it's a lot of fun. You get to know the other reviewers a lot better. Um, and uh, a lot of reviewers have said that it's boosted their confidence levels throughout the whole process. So if, yeah. you ever, if you're on the fence about it, just talk to one of our past reviewers about it and see how they feel. They've left um, some notes about it in group as well. Um, but if you're watching the replay, go ahead and leave a question for Megan or I and we'll answer it as we see them. And if you're catching the, um, the replay on YouTube, then please like this video and subscribe. We'll have a lot more interviews for you. We also have product reviews and tutorials for you as well, all separated into neat and organized playlists. <laughs> so um, have a good day, you guys, and thanks for watching with us. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Say bye -bye. <gasps> the kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Smile>. <laughs> Say bye-bye.